Namaste everyone. Today's story from Joy of Reading is Pishi Caught in a Storm. The authors are Mala Kumar, Manisha Chaudhary, illustrator is Sangeeta Das, and publisher is Pratham Books. Look at this picture here. This is the sea, right? You can see the waves, but there's a huge, big wave. There is lightning, so many of them, and there are dark clouds. A storm is all of this, some heavy winds that are coming there with lightning, rain, and then the waves turning very huge in the sea. And someone is in the middle of it or caught in the storm. Who is it? Pishy. In this picture, we see a boat or a ship that is going back and forth like this because of the waves. And this creature here, I think this creature must be Pishy. Let us find out more. Pishi was feeling sad and lonely. Just a day ago, he was one of a group of manta rays. They were feasting on tons of fish far from the coast of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So Pishi was feeling sad, not happy and lonely. There was no one with him. And only one day back, he was one of a group of manta rays. What does it mean? One of a group of manta rays, meaning he was, he is also a manta ray. What are manta rays? Uh, let us see if we can find in the next page. But what was these, what was Pishi doing with the other manta rays? They were feasting or eating happily on tons of fish or lots and lots of fish far away from Andaman and Nicobar Islands. That is where they were. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are part of India. Take a map and find out where they are located. How they had splashed and jumped out of the waters of the beautiful Indian Ocean. When he saw a ship ahead, Pishi had taken a huge dive in the water. His friends Scattered, Pishi flapped his huge cloak-like fins and tried to swim to safety. So look at this picture. This is Pishi. And look at this way how he is, right? Look at how his shape is. So this is a ray. A ray is a type of sea creature. Um, and manta ray is one type of ray. They are these flat body fishes and these are like really big really big huge ones and uh, manta is a word in spanish in spanish it means cloak a cloak is nothing but a loose cloth that you wear like a coat over your um, dress or something like that so it's a um, huge loose cloth that you wear like a coat on top of your dress or something so look at him right so these manta rays are like this. So the body is as though they're wearing a cloak because it's kind of loose and it flutters and it goes like this, right? So that is why they're called manta rays. And uh, he was happily playing with his friends, right? In the waters of which ocean? Indian oceans. So this is another one that I want to want you to find out where it is in the map, the Indian ocean. The first was Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Second one is Indian Ocean. So take the map and find out. So they were happily playing, but then what happened? A huge ship came at that time. So Pishi had to dive, had to go into the water. And at that time, all the friends scattered, meaning they all went into different places here, there, scattered. And Pishi, what did he do? He flapped, flap is doing like this, his huge, I said, right, cloak-like fins, these huge wings, he flapped like that and tried to swim to go to a safe place. There was a huge streak of lightning and a sound of thunder next. Pishi lost his bearings. The ocean had gone dark for him. A big wave rolled up, pushing him directly under the ship. Ah, a cut on his belly. So 
it was a huge streak of lightning so this is lightning a long thin line is called a streak so this is called a streak of lightning and what follows lightning thunder do dum do dum the huge sound that comes after lightning right that is thunder so when all of this happened pishi got lost he did not know where he was or he lost his bearings the ocean became dark there was no light a big wave rolled look at this wave so rolling is going like this right so a wave also rolled like that and what did it do it pushed him under the ship and there was a cut on his belly or tummy or stomach so he got a cut he got hurt he knew what he had to do he had to find his friends but first he needed his wound to be treated he swam and glided as fast as he could towards the coast so first we said right all his friends went into different directions he wanted to find them but before that he has to take care of his hurt or wound in his stomach right so what did he do he swam and glided as this motion so as fast as he could towards the coast or towards the uh, where the water meets the land right that's a coast so he tried started swimming towards that place pishi's heart beat fast he wished he was not so big 10 meters long and weighing over 900 kilograms he had to get to a hospital fast his life depended on it so when we all run fast our heart beats faster right how does our heart beat dhak 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 like that right but when we run how does it goes fast dhak 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 like that it beats right so he was also swimming fast his heart was beating fast and he was really big i told you manta rays were big right so 10 meters long that is nearly 30 feet and how much did he weigh 900 kgs imagine that how big he must be so he had to go to a hospital so do manta rays have hospitals have you seen a hospital for these sea creatures strange right let's see what it means then he saw the lighthouse on the coast he leapt with joy pishi had reached the hospital nature's hospital so soon as he was swimming in the sea he saw a lighthouse this is a lighthouse see in the picture this throws light so that it can guide ships that are moving in the sea during the night and then he knew he had reached the place where he wanted to go to basically nature's hospital what does that mean a huge school of fish swam around him immediately the same fish that he ate at other times were now his nurses they cleaned the deep gash in his tummy so when there are lots and lots of fish we call it as school of fish as we say group of children this is called a school of fish so when he went to the place uh, which is nature's hospital it's nothing but all these fishes are there they all came towards him and what did they do they started cleaning the deep gash is nothing but the deep cut in his stomach or tummy so these fishes is what pishi ate manta rays eat but they are also now his nurse they help him as well and let's see how the cleaner fish nibbled on the torn pieces of skin soon pishi felt so much better he loved the indian ocean with its 5000 species of marine life so these cleaner fish what did they do nibble nibble means uh, like that right they go with their mouth mm. they nibble on all where the skin had all come out right so they nibbled on it and took it out and any um, other insects that had gone to it they had taken it out took the dead skin everything they took it out 
So after this, so when what happens when we get a cut, the doctor takes some liquid and takes the cotton and then cleans the wound, right? Like that, they also cleaned his wound and Pishi felt so much better or good. So he loves the Indian Ocean and marine life is nothing but sea life. And how many different types of uh, sea creatures you can find? It's about some 5,000 species or 5,000 different types of sea creatures you can find in Indian Ocean. Isn't that amazing? Dear reader, the Indian Ocean is known as Ratnakara in ancient Sanskrit literature. Ratnakara means the mine of jewels. Manta rays often visit cleaning stations. A cleaning station can be called nature's hospital in the ocean. Here, small fish such as angel fish swim in the manta rays, gills and over its skin. They are called cleaner fish because they clean the manta ray by eating up parasites and dead tissue. Even though manta rays are huge, they are quite gentle. They are hunted by many animals like big sharks, whales, and humans. So the Indian Ocean in old Sanskrit writings, that means ancient is old, Sanskrit literature is all the books or the writings available, right? It's known as what? Ratnakara. Ratnakara means it's a place of full of um, jewels and gems and so on and so forth. It contains that. It was called like that in ancient literature. So these manta rays, right? Um, they often go or go to places called as cleaning station. And you can call them something like a nature's hospital within the ocean. So what happens in these uh, cleaning stations, small fish like angel fish is one type of small fish. They go ahead and clean these huge creatures. What they do by, they eat up the parasites, the creatures that are there on the manta rays bodies, dead tissue when they have hurt like this to remove the dead tissue, so on and so forth. So manta rays, as I said, right, they're really big, but they're very soft, gentle creatures. And who hunts them? Who wants to go ahead and kill them. They are even bigger animals like big sharks, whales. And sometimes it's also us humans who try to hunt them. I hope you enjoyed the story with me learning about something about manta rays. Thank you. Difficult words. Cloak. An overgarment that hangs loosely from the shoulders. Feasting. Eating large quantities. Scattered, thrown in various directions. Gash, deep cut. Try these. Check out the picture of a manta ray in the web. What are the different types of rays that are there? In the web, search as different types of sea creature rays. Otherwise, you will get answers for electrical rays, sun rays, etc. Write a few lines about manta rays. Until we meet next time, this is Harini signing off. Thank you.